Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial video for Mona Gynal. This is a traditional Mags tune um, and it was arranged for me um, by my harp teacher Rachel Hare um, and I actually played this um, when I uh, auditioned for um, the BBC Radio 2 Young Fit Musician of the Year so this is a tune that I hold really really close to my heart and I really love it um, so um, hope you enjoy so we're in D major so we need our C levers up and our F levers up as well and I'll just give it a playthrough now so you can hear how it sounds <laughs> Sounds like this. So to break that up into phrases, we have this. We start with our second finger on A, thumb on D, and then as we as we go down, we place our fourth onto the F and place up four from F. And then we go down um, a kind of a kind of triad pattern. So a B, and then a G, and then an E. on C and we're kind of our fourth on A but we don't play uh, we don't place our fourth down until after we've played the C with our second so it looks like this and then you place your fingers on fourth on A and two D's to end 
estudiantes. You try that after count four. One, two, three, four. So, shall we try that from the beginning, from the very beginning of the A? One, two, three, four. for that part and um, we play a D and um, like a normal D chord so a D an A and a D and then we got a big stretch here so we got an E octave Um, 
So should we try that from the very beginning of the A with the left and right very, very slowly? Um, I'll call the chords out as we go. One, two, three, four. and it sounds like this. Seconds on C and our third is on A, and we fall down. We bring our thumb back up to the E and bounce off it up to the F. So we bring our thumb up to the F, and our second moves to the D, but our third stays on the A where it is. Want to try that? Kind of four, one, two, three, four. We bounce up to the A, uh, up to the G, sorry, with our thumb, and we play like a kind of two falling pattern. So, thumb on G, second on E, and we move our thumb down to the F and place our second on D. Same again, so move our thumb down to the E, place our second on C. And then as we play the C with our second, we want to kind of hook our fourth thing around the A, play four up from A. I want to try that. From the, from the beginning of the A. One, two, three, four. for the next phrase which goes like this. Which as you can probably hear is the exact same as the A section so it's very very easy to get the last bit there. If we just play um if I just play it again So should we try that from the beginning of the B, from the falling A triad? One, two, three, four. Um, for this part, um, when we play our falling uh, A triad, we want to come up an A triad in our left hand. So our uh, A triad, A, C and E in our left hand, um, we have an opposite motion to our right hand. And then when we, when we 
bump our fingers up, so we bump our thumb up to the F in our right hand and our second onto the D and we do the same thing in our um, left hand, so we bump our um, second up to the D and our thumb up to the F and again we move in opposite motions to each other, so, so we come up with our left and down with our hand and then as we do our We want to play um, an, e, uh, an E triad, and then a D triad, and then a C triad, and then just an A. Want to try that from the E triad? One, two, three, four. Tried in our left hand as our right hand falls down an A triad. Ready? One, two, three, four. to the um, same ending as we had in the A part, we have the same left hand too, so a G triad, a uh, D, D chord, so a D, an A and a D. And then a big deep E octave. from the very very beginning. One, two, three, four. playing ever since I was like nine or ten and um, so a long time now and um, I really love it I still play it now um, so I hope you like it as much as I do 
And um, thanks so much for coming and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll, I'll see you soon.